Right. Okay. Should we try Daddy? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> right. I think it's a uh, size ten or twelve light wire hook. Just going to start off just behind the head. Running down the body, and I'm going to tie in just a bit of copper or gold wire. I can find it. I've just got a bit of gold over, and I'll put that in. And the body, I will use a bit of grey squirrel fur. Hairs here, you could use pale seals fur, and it doesn't make any difference. Putting it on quite chunky. When you do a, a seal's fur body or a fur body, just hold the, the tinsel up or the wire up because that will stop it from sliding down any further. So you could just hold it up out of the way. And we're just going to go three quarters of the way down the body. I've been tying some bigger flies and my dice isn't set up as it should. There we go. If that holds. So what I'm trying to achieve there is a bit of more of a segmentation in the in the body. Now for the wing, I'm going to use a Cree tackle here, so I'm just going to pull out two two feathers. Got sizing and place them one on top of each other. And just have them sitting on top of the the body. I'm just tying them slightly longer than the than the hook. Let's sit them up so they're lying flat. Tie them in well. We can get rid of that now. Now we just split them out. Pull them apart, and again we do the figure of eight. So, what we can do is just remove the, the rest of the, the hackle, or what we could do is maybe tie it in front. Like so, but I'll, I'll cut this out. There we go. 
next thing we do is take our knotted pheasant tail okay and we want six legs one set and we just want to place Let's sort them out. That's what I have in. We'll just put the wings back slightly. We don't want them at 90 degrees, but we'll, we'll just put them out a little bit further back. Cut the rest. The next thing is a, a hackle. I'm going to use quite a, a dark red game hackle for this fly. Again, I'm going to take two two feathers or you can use a badger tackle if you want a lighter fly a cree you could use the cree I'm just going to match these up So we've got quite a, a lot of the hook shank still to, to play around with here. So it's going to be quite a, a longish tackle. Let's tackle. So we're winding the, the second tackle through the, the first tackle. Pip the knuckles out, straighten them up, and there we go. That's what we're looking for.
Wow, they, they come out um, very, very differently. Would you be able to zoom out slightly, Mark? We, we're we're uh, quite close in. Don't, don't worry if you can't. Um, that's uh, quite interesting, those wings that look tremendously wide when you pick them out. Yeah. Um, to start with, actually look very much in proportion. Um, when when they're tied in, that's <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. If 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 I looked at those at the start, I thought, gosh, they're they're enormous, but now they look uh, completely right. Um, and the the pheasant tail knotted legs, they're double knotted. Double knotted, yeah. There's a, another one with a badger tackle. Oh wow! Yeah, I mean the 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 natural the the wings on the natural daddy long legs are just a, a sort of uniform grey. Mm. Um, why people put you know different coloured wings in, I've no idea. But the natural would be a, a grey, nondescript. May I see that one in profile again, please, Mark? The, the Which one? one? The one in the vice uh, in. Uh... <laughs> Profile, yeah. Just see how far back, back those legs are going. It's almost like a chocolate, looks like a chocolate hackle um, on there, that red game. It is, it's quite a dark um, red game, but um, yes. Nice, nice looking fly again. Oh, yeah. wow, look at that. Yeah. Lovely. And I mean, that's. That's tied with a, a foam body. I would love to do one of those one one time. <laughs> I think we'll run through the, the other one again first. Easy. Yeah. Wow. Gosh, that looks good enough to eat myself. <laughs> That's tied on a on a short shank, wide gape. B160 size 10. Yeah, yeah. It's simple, easy enough to do. And I, I would actually fish this pattern rather than the the other one. I love these will. Yeah. These are unsinkable. Mm. Should we uh, run through that one again? Uh, or what the phone? Um, I, th I think, Mark Thomas, you probably want to go through that one again now, won't you? The one we've just tied. Yeah, that would be great. I yeah. As far as the um, squirrel's yeah. body, and then I stop. If, if, if you can squeeze a foam one in, Mark, at the end, that would be amazing. But I think oh. we'll just go through that one again. Okay. Um, All right. You. Excuse me, I'm having my breakfast here at the same time. So excuse me. Uh, I'll mute myself. Okay. So I've got a, a light wire size twelve in the vice. Just adding a little bit of gold. Oval or wire next thing I'm gonna use is grey seals fur a uh, grey squirrel fur put it on quite chunky
So, so that was gold oval tinsel, was it not? Yeah. Okay. It's only because it was in my line of sight. <laughs> um, wire, you could use. I mean, make a nice segmentation though. The, yeah. The slightly thicker. There. I'm going to take the Cree hackle. Take two of those out. And just line them up so the tips are exact. And we could strip the hackle back. But tend to sort of just tie it in all together. It's just getting the the angle right you want them lying flat over the body. And so Way. and just pull them apart so obviously we don't want that one sticking out too far we just Push it back in, put another turn over it, keep it in place. I'm just going to cut the excess out. And the legs. Let's go for the legs. And you knotted these yourself, Mark? Yeah. I find some of the shop bought legs a bit thinner than the ones you're putting up in their fibre. I'm sure if they're using younger birds or... Yeah, I mean, what I've got here is a fairly oldish bird. Oh, that's massive. Yeah. So there's you know quite a, a long length of fibre on these. Um, doesn't have to be the, the centre tail. You can get away with um, using the, the side tails for for these. Do you knot them on the tail or cut them off and then knot them without getting? I do both actually. I mean the, these are knotted on the on the tail. Where I've been using. Um, in tying up some mayflies anyway, so uh, we'll take it off. So three. Did you intentionally intentionally orientate them roughly down? Yeah, I like to have them with the tips pointing down, so I do sort of fiddle around, try and get them looking, looking right. Let's see how we go with those. Was that on, on the side the... Or, the, or the top? Sorry? Did you tie that bunch on the near side or on the top or on the far side? On the top. Just on the top, okay. Thank you. You'll sit down soon enough. I'm 
trying to part them now so we've got three on each side. So let's put a red gain back off through. Dell side facing us. Tie that in quite tightly. It's, it's okay to go backwards there as well as forwards on the one. Yeah. Line. Just filling that space with the hackle. So with this one, I'll sort of take it back over the wings and then go forward. Slightly lighter red game is that one? Yes. You put two in, didn't you, Mark? Two, Mark, yeah. You could just use one, but you would have to just come a little bit more forward with the, the wing. Because I've used two hackles, I've, I'm able to sort of put the wing slightly further back on the hook shank. And, and, and um, I think you've got a hackle guard on, on your uh, Velcro there, Mark. Uh, I, I remember you showing me how, how to use that. What, what's that for? Uh, would you use it necessarily? Is it, um, thank you, that looks great, by the way. Yeah, that that's, uh, is, is a hackle guard, isn't it? Yeah. And what I've done on the um, device pedestal, there's a knob which controls the height of the vice. So I've just put the other bit of Velcro on that so it stays. Yeah. I'll show you. There Can you is. see it there? And 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 if you if I wanted to use the hackle guard, to, uh, is that to stop fibers coming in front of the eye? Yeah, you okay. can use it for tying off. So you, you put it on that way, like that. Yeah. Or you could use it for varnishing that oh, way. Okay. So Have you how do you use it the other way? Is it just for pushing the fibres back and then you take pushing it off? Pushing the fibres back, especially if you're doing muddler heads, I find it very useful for packing the 
uh, the fibers in. What what's the slot in in the side of the hole there on on the? There's that. Oh, there isn't a slot. Sorry. There isn't. I think on the modern ones they 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 put a little slit, so you can slide it out. But um, this is quite an old one, actually. That's for varnishing and yeah. pushing them back. Right. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Lovely. <laughs> How are you get a mark? I'm okay. I've got one up. I'll show you. You don't mind if I pin you, Mark? Do you just have a look at that? No, it's fine. I think one of my wings twisted around slightly, and it's not not great. But you know. Okay. You see it. That looks fine to me, Mark. Honestly, that really does look fine. Wow, Isn't it in that, focus, Will? That yeah, looks, that looks great. If it could, yeah, to show the top down there. Yeah, look at that. Mm. Wow, that is ready to go. Well, well done. Yeah, you're like a prodigy. Person. <laughs> I think you really need to watch the video back to see exactly how that went together. <laughs> it was the it was the third attempt on the heckle. I went with the badger in the end, and I think it's all right. It looks quite busy. Yeah. Yeah.